Hi everyone, welcome back to Off The Cuff Clarinet, a web series about all things related to the clarinet and clarinet playing. In this video, we're going to be talking about a topic that really sort of ties into a previous video about synchronizing the tongue and fingers. And today's topic is moving fingers ahead and stop staccato. This is a really important part of making sure our fingers and our tongue align properly. And I already discussed a way to address that in a previous video where you add one single note at a time. And if you haven't watched that, I would suggest checking that out. But if you've already watched that or you want a different way to practice making sure the fingers and tongue are coordinated, this is a great video for you. Uh, as I discussed previously, the fingers and the tongue, if they don't sound like they're aligned correctly, you know, they're not moving at the, at the correct time, it's usually the fingers that are behind the tongue, or at least the fingers are uneven as compared to the fingers. The articulation tends to be pretty steady, at least in smaller quantities. If it's a longer stretch, of course, the tongue will fatigue, but that's a different story. And a good way to make sure the fingers are always prepared is to practice this moving fingers ahead exercise. This is something that my te one of my teachers, Ted Owen, the now retired principal clarinet of the Detroit Symphony, really worked on with me, and I actually have his writing in the copy I'm gonna be looking off today, so I'll be making reference to that and I'll put that down below. So, in a previous video, we discussed how the fingers and the tongue are not, if they're not coordinated, it's usually the fingers fault and not the tongue. And what we can do is make sure that the fingers are actually placed ahead of when the tongue releases to allow the sound to continue. And sort of the classic etude for this, as taught by Robert Marcellus, is rose number 11 from the 40 studies. And if you've played this etude before, you've probably played it at, you know, roughly this tempo. That's feeling it in sort of a two beats per bar. It's written in 6-8 time. What, uh, what Ted Owen had me do, and this is sort of, the, again, the classic Marcellus way of teaching this, is to go painfully slowly. Um, Ted actually wrote, clip the slur unmercifully and make the staccato as short as possible. And he actually has written 16th note equals 40 here for practicing. As we're going through this etude at the, again, incredibly slow tempo of 16th note equals 40, we're going to be moving our fingers in that silence between notes. And I'm actually gonna stand up so you can see how the fingers are relating to the sound. And as I'm doing that, you can see how my fingers are moving not right on when that note is supposed to sound, but actually quite a bit before. And of course, this is incredibly slow, but the idea is as you work on this process, and you can do this in any other, any other articulated passage, the idea is that the fingers will get used to sort of leading the tongue in the articulation. One more point I wanna make with this exercise of moving fingers ahead and the stop staccato is that the silence that's happening in between notes is because my tongue is contacting the reed. That's the only reason there's silence. The air pressure is still constant, even though there's no sound coming out. That's why we call it the stopped staccato. We're stopping the end of the note with the tongue. And to demonstrate that, what I'm going to do is I'll do that same thing, but I'm actually going to leak some air out the side of the embouchure so you can hear and see that the air pressure is still moving even though there's no sound coming out. You can only get about three notes before you run out of air. But what we don't want is for the air to stop after every single note. The air pressure is still pushing constantly, but the tongue is what's creating that silence. And just for one more demonstration. And if you keep doing that, and you eventually could work the speed up and of course keep the embouchure sealed on both sides, but go.
And practicing this idea of getting those fingers to move ahead, you can again do this in other music as well. That's gonna help clean up the fingers and the tongue as they sort of have to work together to have clean technique and articulation. So again, this is rose number 11 from the 40 studies. Stop staccato, clip the slur unmercifully. That's a really great word for this. And make that staccato as short as possible. And then when you're preparing the fingers, move the fingers instantly to the next note. And that's gonna really help improve your technique. I hope you found this video about moving fingers ahead and stopped staccato helpful. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave a comment below or reach out on social media. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and happy practicing.